Welcome to Dobby's Repairs, I'm Dobby the Fixing Elf and this is What's In My Toolbox, the series where I show you the tools I use to repair cars and fix things. So let's find out what's in my toolbox today. Under this instalment we have this Auto Jack 4 piece spark plug socket set. Quite hard for me to say that but there we are, let me open the case. This case is really nice. And so we have four sockets. So we have a thin wall 16mm, a normal 14mm spark plug socket, as well as a 16 and a 21mm, 21mm should I say. It's a very average sizes, most common ones I come across when I'm changing spark plugs are in here. They're pretty good. The thin wall one is really quite handy. It's really quite thin. Yeah, we're holding the spark plug quite well. Let me just grab one quickly. So if you saw my last video, which was the spark plug and lead changing video on the um, Ford C-Max, you would have seen this socket over here in action, which is another 16mm. I'll pop a link to that video in the description. This is the standard 16mm. They are magnetised, so they hold on really well. And this is the thin wall one, where clearance is for harder... You know, we do tight clearances and stuff, as you can see, much thinner, much easier to get down into those tight spark plug wells. They fit really well, they all hold really well, the magnets really are really good. I'll put a bit of footage of me putting a spark plug with these, just so you can see it, in just a moment. So here's the footage promised of the spark plug socket in action, so as you can see, I'm just going to drop it onto a spark plug now, and I'll get the ratchet on it. And we'll crack it loose. You can see when you crack it loose. Just a moment, there we go. And now I've got it loose and we can run it out by hand. So you can see I'm just twiddling it around, it'll come out nice and easily. And the main thing about this is when you're pulling it out, it doesn't let go of the socket, so you can't risk damaging any parts around it. As you can see, it comes out nicely. And the new one goes in just as easy as the other one come out. Really secure, so you don't have to worry about dropping your spark plug and damaging it on the way in. So as you just saw in the last clip, the I use these two tools along with the spark plug socket to change the spark plugs. So it's a lovely ratchet, and this is my lovely 16 uh, 16 extension, so I say. And yeah, they fit in really nicely. And they hold on very well. Quick tough to get them off. The other thing about these sockets are they have they have ends for spanners and yeah so this these uh, this one here so you'll say is a 19 mil and the two smaller ones are both 16 mil and this big one i believe is a 22 or 24 i'm not quite sure because i haven't got a spanner on me at the moment to check but these are definitely 19 and 16 respectively yeah they work quite well even on just the um, regular ratchet. Obviously as I mentioned at the start of the video, the case these come in is really solid and really firm. It's got this lovely latch on the front of it. it Seems to hold the spark plug quite nice and firmly. I would have liked there to be a space or including an extension in here, so you'd have to use a separate extension. That would have made this kit really good. Now onto my final thoughts for this spark plug socket set. It's really good, it's probably the best spark plug socket set I've used. Definitely the best spark plug sockets I've used. And yeah, I forgot to mention earlier, but they are all 3 8 drive, so pretty good size for being driven. So, and I'm going to give these a 4 spanner rating, you should see it pop up just over here, just above my finger, hopefully. And yeah, these are really good spark plug sockets, but as I said, the best I've used so far. And yeah, if you need a set of spark plug sockets, I highly suggest picking these ones up. If you enjoyed this video, and now on to just a little bonus for all of you that watch this far into the video. Here we have a little spark plug gapping tool I picked up the other day. Pretty handy. And we have a spark plug. And you're pretty good for checking the gap between the spark plugs. As you can see, this one is well out of the um, desired range it needs to be. Let me find the right one. There it is. Just there. And yeah, as you can see, well out of um, spec for what it needs to be. And with these, you can easily adjust the spark plugs. Say this was too close, you just get your spark plug tool in here and just give it a little twist, and you make the gap bigger. And if you want to make it smaller, all you do is just pop your spark plug on the middle here, 
they give it a good push down. Quite hard to do with the camera in the way, but and that'll close the gap for you, and then you can remeasure. So I'm going to give this little um, spark plug tool a three spanner rating. The spanner should pop up over here, as like always. And yeah, I just thought this would be a nice little add-on at the end of the video for you to watch and enjoy. Hopefully you all enjoyed these, this video. If you enjoyed this video, why not drop a like? Any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments. I normally drop two videos a week. So if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, you should and then you'll never miss another video. Do you know anyone else who would enjoy watching this video? Then feel free to share it with them. Thanks for watching until the end. Have a sensational day.